Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the CLE's A190CLA04BL clear anodized dock leveler seal with a 3 8 nylon thermal brush slotted with tech screws. That's the part number. So the A190 is representative of the profile. It is a right angle aluminum holder with a nylon bristle. The CLA stands for the fact that the, uh, the aluminum holder is uh, clear anodized aluminum finish. The 04 is a reference to the length of the bristle. That means 3 8 And then, of course, you have your length. This happens to be a 3-foot piece. Pardon me, BL. That's for black. Very high-quality bristle, and the name CLEs is synonymous with bristle weather stripping. It's all uh, what they do. Uh, if it's bristle, they do it. They have the most comprehensive offering, the widest range of material, uh, profile types, angles, sizes, bristle lengths, etc., that are commercially available. They get into technical material that, uh, quite frankly, is uh, exclusive to them. Circular material, uh, material that I know that they, you know, work on very direct relationship with high-profile clients because there's nobody else that can make the specified material. The point of that is they can get a 90 degree holder uh, to you pretty easily. Very nice quality bristle. Um, it's very rigid and people like bristle a lot because bristle's ability to really tuck in and seal something. Now if you've got an irregular surface, bristle does a really good job at sealing for you. Okay. Now dimensionally, let's go over that. There is an image below this video showing everything important about the dimensions. You can see that the width of the holder is about 9 sixteenths. So the width of the backer we were discovering is uh, 9 sixteenths or very close. Then we've got a height dimension and you've got the height of the extrusion which is just heavy on an eighth of an inch. You know it shows a quarter inch in my tape measure. Um, it would be better to look at it this way. The stuff is you know 0.204, so just heavy on an eighth. Then you've got three eighths, heavy on three eighths. The 04 means 40 thousandths, it's actually 41 thousandths. So you're about 7 sixteenths, pardon me, 9 sixteenths total, something in that range. This sort of item, they call a dock leveler seal, so that's obviously going to be installed in such a way so as to um, help weather seal uh, an overhead door situation where there's a dock leveler. This right angle sort of material is used in the bottom of doors all the time as well, not only there. It's also used in instances that it wasn't really originally intended, meaning I've sold this material to people where they having excessive gaps between two doors and they're double egress doors. So, you know, you've got doors that swing this way. Think of a restaurant, you know, or banquet hall. So they'll stack these symmetrically opposite to each other. So this door will swing this way, but then they've got this one installed and it swings this way. And those two come together and nest real well against the doors, seal it up really nice. Um, so unusual applications. People I've had, people even mortise these into the bottom of and into the sides of windows. Uh, restaurants that have street exposure where in the summer the doors, which are really doors, they're windows, but they're doors, they get folded and opened up. Well, in the summertime, that works fine. In the winter, it needs to be weather sealed. People will use this. Available in the site in several different lengths. Uh, like I said earlier, this happens to be a 36 inch length. If you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. Uh, and we'll be happy to do so. The reasoning is, uh, if you had to take this 36 inch piece and cut it down to say 32 inch, you'd eliminate that slotted hole there. Next one's all the way over here. So you're stuck drilling another hole and it's hard to drill a slotted hole. And that slotted hole is always nice to have there to give you that lateral ability, that small amount of adjustment, whether it's laterally, you know, vertically, however you might be using it. It also helps compensate for a misdrilled hole when you're pre-drilling the holes for the screws and speaking of that, these will include uh, hex head 
self-drilling screws, which I'm really not a fan of. I don't get good control over the placement of my uh, pre-drilled hole for my screw, uh, but to each his own. Uh, when you're pre-drilling the holes, the bit has a tendency to walk a little bit uh, before it pierces through, whether it's stainless or bronze, wood, steel, aluminum, fiberglass, um, if you've not used a center punch. So that hole will help uh, compensate for a misdrilled hole as well. So if you order a custom length, it will not only locate that first slotted hole at the proper distance from the edge, but the proper center to center as well. <clears throat> CLEs, like I said before as, as well, is a comprehensive manufacturer of all things bristle. They'll get little things like this all the way to giant six inch long bristle lengths that you'll see on hangar aircraft hangar doors. I've sold material to city zoos where they need to have the elephant uh, sanctuary and the you know the 20 foot tall sliding doors. They want to seal that off at the bottom with bristle. That'd be another client that's used the exceptional bristle uh, products that CLEs makes. Below this video, link to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up their catalog. If you have any questions on the CLEs, A190, CLA04BL, clear anodized alum aluminum dock leveler seal with a 3 8 nylon thermal brush, or any other CLEs product, please feel free to reach out to us.